If you want to live like you matter, ditch the pills, look great, and feel freaking amazing, you're in the right place. I'm Dr. Wendy Trubo. And I'm Dr. Ed Lovatan. Welcome to the Feel Freaking Amazing Podcast. Where we empower you to live a vibrant and healthy life by optimizing your structural, chemical, emotional, social, and spiritual lives. Hold on to your hats. So I think it's obvious that that we're going to work to stay away from metals as much as we can, but that's that's sort of spurious because you can't stay away from them. So if we're assuming you're getting exposed and we're assuming that if you have any type of physical issue, you name it, we will say yes to it, basically, then you have some sort of toxicity occurring. How can people best work on getting rid of this on their own or do they always need to see a functional medicine provider? Yeah, well, you, there's basic things you can do on your own. Like you can take a binder on your own. You can take uh, supplements on your own that facilitate detoxification. Minerals are one of the, you know, not very sexy. Not a lot of people are focusing on minerals in their supplement regime, but that's the number one way you push out and displace metals from your body. People can focus on the top five detox foods, which are um, onions, garlic, egg yolks, uh, ginger and broccoli sprouts. Those are some foods that I try to eat every day or juicing, you know, ginger, what have you, that I eat on a pretty much daily basis to facilitate detox in my body. People can eat powdered broccoli sprouts. You know, they have got plenty of those uh, around and different things like vitamin E, but like the natural form like the annatto form of vitamin E is really, really important. That's a number one antioxidant your body uses. Um, you know, you can take glutathione, but I prefer people, you know, facilitate their body's endogenous production of glutathione. But some some people, you know, uh, like to take like to take it. Um, there's just lots of other supplements. Magnesium, oh my gosh, so important. So many people are are deficient in magnesium. And so they're, you know, I think for people that are ill or looking to detox, you need to kind of go back to the basics before you start getting into really complex kind of protocols. And because there are so many people I know, friends and family and clients and and whatnot, just by doing basic things, you know, taking minerals, because it's the, you know, your body doesn't work without minerals. You know, you're gonna have anxiety, poor sleep, poor detox, you know, um, so poor, you know, bowel movements and things like that. And so just taking minerals, um, getting proper sleep proper hydration, getting some sun every day, eating a a better diet, just those basic things will get everything kind of working again. You got those in place, then, you know, see what's left over, see what symptoms you have left over. But detox should be a part of everyone's lifestyle. So it sounds like for the average person listening, there's a lot you can do on your own. I mean, you've talked about food and some supplementation, but I just ha- as you were talking about juicing, I had this thought of juicing an onion and I immediately was like, absolutely not. Um, but you can certainly juice ginger, take a multivitamin. What are things you would say to people, don't do this on your own? So don't try to interpret heavy metals tests on your own. You're not going to get it right or you're going to misinterpret them, especially when it comes to a heavy metals tests where there's no metals on it. People are like, oh, yeah, I'm free and clear. No, that means your body can't detox. Mm-hmm. And so I, I see this all the time or, or doctors even misinterpret the, the results. They think if there's no, or maybe the, the test you're doing only tests for like four metals and there's like 30. Um, or, you know, you may be doing a bad test where it's being interpreted improperly. So it's called the no-show phenomenon where people don't have metals in tests and they just kind of go on to the next thing and, oh, that must not be it. But, you know, most people don't have the energy or the nutrient status or the minerals, or they're not doing detox protocols that help coax out uh, toxins from our fat tissue and other fat stores. And so, yeah, big surprise, there's no metal showing on their first test, but as they kind of give their body what it needs to release this garbage, uh, then we see more metals coming out on tests. I still have metals coming out. I've been doing this for 10 years, mm-hmm. you know, over 10 years. And so you are, it takes 10 years to get rid of the, all the lead 
that's in our bones. There's a lot of garbage inside of us. And so it's just, it's not something you do once a year. It's just, detox is really a lifestyle that you need to be thinking about and, and doing on a daily basis. So let's talk about that. I always say to people, you got to have the foundations of your life set. You need to sleep, move your body, detoxify your relationships, eat whole unprocessed organic wherever possible foods, get enough water, make sure it's filtered in high quality. And and then, and only then when you've optimized just the basic function, poop every day, then you can start to work on the more aggressive removal, but you you have to crawl, walk, run. You can't go right to run or you're going to be really sick. Yeah. And especially if you have complex chronic illness, you need to be working with a practitioner that knows what they're doing and knows how to maybe get you stabilized before you're going to, you know, dump more garbage for your body to process that it's just not ready to. Maybe you need to fix your digestion first. Maybe there's just other priorities going on. So Hey, you need to work with a qualified professional that knows what they're doing before you detox, especially before you do chelation or something like that. It's just a recipe for disaster. Were you inspired and empowered today? Don't forget to follow so we can help you keep transforming your health. Until next time.